Good afternoon, Mayor, Council, and staff. I'd like to provide an update in the investigation of the August 13th shooting event that occurred in the Headingham community. I'd like to first say that our thoughts and prayers continue to be with the families and the loved ones of the victims, as well as the greater Raleigh community. We stand with our community and we are working with victim services partners to provide needful services. From the men and women of the Raleigh Police Department, we'd like to thank the community for their overwhelming support, their prayers, their condolences, their expressions of kindness extended to Officer Torres' family, as well as the entire Raleigh Police Department. I met with Ms. Torres this past Sunday, and she asked that I share her gratitude for all that this community has done to honor the life of Officer Torres and to support her, her daughter, and the entire family. For members of the public, if you would like to support the Torres family, please email rpdsupport at raleighnc.gov. For the past five days, the Raleigh Police Department's Homicide Unit has continued investigating this case, working around the clock to identify and interview witnesses and to collect evidence to better understand the sequence of events that occurred and the possible motives behind the suspect's actions. As part of the investigation, our officers and detectives conducted an extensive canvas of the News River Greenway for additional evidence. The News River Greenway is back open and we do encourage for everyone to go back to their daily routines. With respect to the injured victims and suspect, we have received good news that one of the injured victims, Ms. Marcel Gardner, is still hospitalized, but she is improving. Our prayers continue to be with her. Officer Clark, who was treated and released on the day of the incident, is doing well. He is vibrant, energetic, just itching to get back to work. The suspect continues to be listed in critical condition. As we further investigate this incident, we are asking that if anyone has any information that they believe will be helpful, that they would contact the Raleigh Crime Stoppers at 919-996-1193 or leave a tip on our tip submit on our website, on the website for the Crime Stoppers. As with any officer involved shooting, the State Bureau of Investigation is taking the lead in the investigation of the officers who discharge their weapons. The city of Raleigh's five-day report containing a chronology of the facts that we are able to share will be presented to the city manager's office this week. In closing, I'd like to thank all of our law enforcement and city and county partners who assisted the Raleigh Police Department in the response, the initial canvases, the search, and the apprehension of the suspect. We want to thank the Raleigh Fire Department, Emergency Communication Center, Parks and Recs, along with Wake County EMS and Wake Med, who played a crucial role in caring for those who were injured. I especially want to thank the North Carolina Department of Public Safety for the coordination of resources and the City County Bureau of Investigation for processing the multiple crime scenes. We could have never restored safety and order to our community without the help of our partners. And while what occurred last Thursday was tragic, the Raleigh Police Department stands strong, we stand unified, affirming our commitment as a police department to expend every resource we have to keep our great city safe. Thank you for the opportunity to share this update.